the map metaphor is, is overused, but it's useful if you're constantly trying to push on unknown territory or territory that's unknown to you. Right, that's going to cause a little bit of anxiety and confusion as you're trying to figure out, you know, is this a mountaintop or is this a river? I'm about to go off the edge of the earth. Where am I exactly? Can somebody please help me? So as you're learning more about any given subject, right, you, you, I mean, we've all had this experience, and you realize, oh, what, you know, what I thought was true really isn't true. Um, and maybe, in fact, there is, you know, there is no single truth, and I need to really understand the complexity of the situation. How can I figure this out? Where do I go? Who do I talk to? What book do I read? That is, that's a necessary part of learning. And that can take any number of forms. Right? It could be through artwork, it could be through an experiment or a project or a thesis. But it needs to be demonstrated, it needs to be shown. You know, we're teaching a process, but we're also, you need, you need the depth, right? You can't just have a sort of wandering and ranging experience. You need to be able to go deeply into something. There's a level of engagement that is needed and, and even just work. Right? Putting in the time to figure something out or to, you know, conduct the experiment. And seeing that through, not just setting up the idea, but seeing it through and then rounding it off and summarizing it and saying, this is what happened, this is what I learned, this is what I can contribute. So it takes a certain kind of resilience and mindset and attitude towards learning and comfort with a certain level of uncertainty and a certain level of ambiguity and you know, not too much but enough to really be comfortable with that take it on and decide that this is and feel that this is an exciting place to be in to be in the place of discovering what you want and how to make it real